raising money for the 2012 Tour de Rock in Centennial Square. Jordan joins us now with sports. We're approaching Thanksgiving weekend. Perhaps there's something for NHL fans to be thankful for. We will know shortly. Thank you, Andrew. It's funny what a missed paycheck can do. After canceling the first two weeks of the NHL season yesterday, the owners and players resumed talks today as League Brass flew to Toronto to meet with the union. Now, while well, there are no plans for Gary Bettman to carve Donald Fears turkey, talks are expected to continue over the Thanksgiving long weekend. Now to a league that's actually playing hockey, the Victoria Royals have named Patrick Polivka their Player of the Month for September. The Czech import is a perfect 4-0 to start uh, the season as the Royals boast a 5-1 record. That is good enough for top spot in the BC Division. Royals are in Spokane tonight to face the Chiefs and we will have highlights for you at 11. Victoria Grizzlies also in action as they host the Salmon Arm Silverbacks at Bear Mountain Arena. After their hot start, the Grizz were knocked back down to earth with their first regulation loss of the season against Nanaimo. Now, Bis uh, Bill Bestwick's team has had a week to dwell on that loss and they are ready to rebound. Uh, we've only played twice at home. This will be our third game at home and hopefully the kids uh, you know, come with an A game against Salmon Arm and I think we're very capable of that. We just need to uh, be focused and concentrate on our task. But we've got a real mature group. We've got a strong uh, group here. Our core team is um, real mature. So I, I know that uh, we, you know, we feel a little bit embarrassed about the weekend pass. So we'll be fine. Minor hockey night at the Bear tonight. Any hockey player wearing their jersey gets into the game for just three bucks. If you can't make it though, catch the highlights right here tonight at 11. Special night at UVic as the BC Rugby Union goes prime time. It's the only Friday night matchup of the season as the Vikes host powerhouse James Bay under the lights at Centennial Stadium at 7 o'clock. Speaking of Friday night lights, the Mount Dog Rams are hosting Vancouver College. Van College boasting such high profile alumni as Joe Perkins, among others. Tough luck for the JVs in the early game, falling 21 to 9. The varsity game is underway as we speak. The Rams lead 14 to 7. Again, full highlights tonight at 11. Rowing Canada's firing of coach Mike Spracklin on Tuesday was a shock to many people. But if there was any doubt what effect Spracklin had on his athletes, it was on display last night at Elk Lake. Gold medalists, silver medalists, bronze medalists, all on hand at the boathouse to say farewell to the legendary former coach. Spracklin also worked with a group of young rowers from the Victoria City Rowing Club before he headed back to shore to meet up with some familiar faces. Now this could be the final time we see Spracklin working under the Maple Leaf. After leading Canada to seven medals over five Olympics, Spracklin said his piece on Tuesday. So the final word was with the athletes. How important was it to you to, uh, to come out tonight? Uh, very important. I had to come out here and show my support. You know, the coach has done a lot for me, so uh, yeah, I really wanted to be here. Pretty nice evening here and some uh, really good rowers showed up and some good guys, so should be fun. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of people out there who, who aren't happy with this and, and who think that a, that a big mistake is being made. And, uh, you know, you got to respect that because there's a lot of people with a lot of rowing experience in this country. Uh, but I think today, uh, you know, is about is about Mike, and it's about thanking him and thanking him in the best way possible, which is going out on the water with him and uh, and pulling some pulling pulling on the oar and and having a good time. While some of us are enjoying our Sunday morning coffee, more than 11,000 people will be pounding the pavement to take part in the 33rd installment of the Good Life Fitness Victoria Marathon. The event has once again attracted an elite field from all over the globe plus all those weekend warriors. Uh, the marathon, we've got more than we had last year already registered with 2,146. Uh, we've got 5,400 registered so far in the half marathon. We've got a, a, a higher number than last year in the 8K with 2,611. And so far in the kids event, we've got 964. And usually we get another two to 300 that register today and tomorrow for the kids race. So amazing numbers. If you're cheering on those runners Sunday morning, cheer a little louder when Adam Campbell comes cruising by. Won't be hard to spot him. He's a guy who looks like he's late for work. In a sea of Lululemon-clad warriors, Campbell is all business as he attempts to topple a Guinness World Record. The world record, in case you're wondering, for running a full marathon in a suit is three hours and 24 minutes. Campbell is confident he can do this. My best marathon is 229. Are so. you nervous? You know what, I'm not. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then throughout the day, I just plan on having as much fun as possible. It's going to be a bit uncomfortable. It's going to be a bit hot. There'll be some chafing around the neck probably, but 
I'm wearing the suit for the entire race. I've set a few little guidelines for myself as well. You have, have to have some ethics with these things. So I'm gonna leave the top button done up, leave the tie done up, and try to leave the top button done up through the entire race. Yeah, so that's not actually in the record books. That's my own personal little thing. So overall, I'm just gonna try to enjoy the moment. And yeah, it's, just, it's a silly thing to do. So if it's a silly thing, you might as well have fun with it. In one week, we will know the identity and colors of Victoria's West Coast Baseball League team. The team has sifted through the 600 submissions from fans and will make that big announcement next Friday. I'm hoping for the Victoria Salsa. <laughs> Why not? Let's bring them back. Let's do it. I love yeah. that name. Yeah, me too. So unique. I could never figure it out. Uh, Where did it come from? The Taco Time people were the owners of the team. Oh. Taco Time Salsa. There you go. Interesting. Totally. The Chili Pepper Warrior logo. I want to see that back. <laughs> Good call, Jordy. Yeah. Thanks. All right.